Damian Lillard just got traded to the Miami Heat. That's not right. Damian Lillard just got traded to the Milwaukee Bucks. This is going to be a fun ride as us here at We Miss the Exit. We're going to be breaking down this trade as well as like what's going to be happening with the rest of the teams. I want to throw in my grade there. And most importantly of all, what's going to happen to fantasy? So let's plug it into the GPS as we just missed the exit. To start it off, let's look at what actually happened. So Damian Lillard went to the Bucks. Nurkic, Grayson Allen, Johnson, and Nazir Little, they went to the Phoenix Suns. And the Trailblazers got DeAndre Aiden, Drew Holiday, Kamara, and a couple of first round picks. Looking at the updated depth chart on Yahoo, this is what they have so far. They still have to go through camp to figure out the solidified versions of their teams. But so far, the Bucks have Lillard, Beasley, Middleton, Antetokounmpo, and Lopez at their starters. The Suns right now are going to have Beal, Booker, Okogi, Durant, and Nurkic. And the Trailblazers have Drew Holiday, Simon, Sharp, Jeremy Grant, and DeAndre Ayton. I now want to give my grades for each team, and if I'm looking at the Bucks first, they bring in another star, and this might help Giannis to stay, because he was already teetering on whether or not he wanted to stay, so I think this is going to help those chances of making sure he stays. Middleton was an unknown, so I think that helps, because Middleton has digressed from who he used to be. They didn't lose too much in the short term, they definitely destroyed themselves for the future, they do not have a lot of picks moving forward. So, so far, I'm going to give the Bucks an A on this one, because it wasn't exactly perfect. Moving on to the Suns, let's see what they did. Uh, I think that they didn't give up any real stars, so that was a good thing. And they also bolstered their bench a little bit, which is what they were looking to do because they were mainly just star heavy and that was it. Some of the negatives are that Aiden and Booker were on the same timeline and they just destroyed that at this point. You know, I like that tandem. I think they were just missing another star that could have gone into that place. You would have had a great team for the next, you know, five, seven years or whatever. But, you know, I guess they went away with that. And Nurkic is very injury prone. He does not stay healthy at all. So if he goes down, do you really want Durant to be able to play center for you? I'm giving the Phoenix Suns a C plus on this because they didn't really make their team that much better. But I do worry about Nurkic and his health. And finally, the Trailblazers. They're getting back some of the draft capital, which is really good. And Lillard was pretty much gone anyway. He, he kind of half requested and he's been loyal for so many years, so I don't blame him. Plus, a lot of their young guys are finally going to be able to play, which I think is going to be an awesome thing to be able to watch that team. Maybe they could be like competing with OKC for the next few years. That would be a really fun move. The problem is I think they need to move Holiday and Grant. They, those are two very serviceable veterans. Uh, Grant is still kind of young-ish. He's still hitting his prime. So I think they can get a pretty good haul for those two guys as well. That's why I'm giving the Trailblazers an A-. minus. What's keeping it from being an A or an A+, plus is what they need to do is trade Drew Holiday and trade Grant. That's all they need to do, and it's an A+. Plus. And finally, while we're all here, let's talk about what's going to happen to these guys with fantasy. Now, I really only brought in the guys that are going to be more relevant when it comes to fantasy. So, for example, I'm not going to be using one of the complete bench players. What's going to happen to them? I mean, the real guys that matter. To start off, I think DeAndre Aiden is going to really improve in this. He's going to have a lot, like a green light to go. I think Keen Simons are going to take off in Portland. I say go and grab him. And then I think Sharp, Simons, and Beasley are all going to do a little bit better. They're going to improve a little bit, but they at least put them on your radar. And then a bunch of the other guys I'm putting as neutral because pretty much they're not going to waver too much better or too much worse. Like Grant, Holiday, Middleton, Portis, Lopez, they're not going to improve too much more or get that much worse. Same with Lillard. I think he's going to be the same production. Grayson Allen, Beal, Booker, Durant, and, you know, Grayson Allen again because there's two of them now. Uh, I think they're all going to do like pretty much the same that they did last year. The only one that I think is not going to do much better is Nurkic. Now, he's taken a dip over the last few years, but it's because he's always hurt. So I don't think he's really going to do that much better this coming year. I think he's going to get a little bit worse. He's almost not even my radar at this point. So anyway, that's my take on the whole Damian Lillard trade. Again, look forward to some of these videos I'm going to be putting out for the positions for fantasy basketball over the next few weeks because the basketball season is going to be starting really soon. And you don't want to miss out on good, typical, awesome information for fantasy basketball. So what do you think about the Damian Lillard trade? What do you think of my grades as well? I know me personally, I'm looking forward to watching the Bucks in real life because I'm a big fan of Damian Lillard, even though I didn't put him on my uh, top fantasy basketball point guards for this year. So anyway, this is Brent with your fantasy basketball advice. And don't forget to turn on that GPS because we just missed the exit.